So, uh, what's up, guys? Warzone Season 5 and Vanguard Season 5 are finally coming out next week on August 24th, and we have the roadmap right here. Uh, Warzone, as you can see, is getting an Operation Last Call. We got a Caldera Peak POI update with the Volcano coming in. Rebirth Island Resurgence Supreme is going to be in the mid-season update. And we got the Hero vs. Villains Community event, which sounds really cool. And we got some new features, including a Rage Serum, Supply Box UAV Kill Streak, Personal Supply Box, and a Doomsday Station at Caldera. Sounds like a Cal something might be going crazy in Caldera. Maybe another nuke, like similar to Verdansk. We'll see. Zombies is getting a new round based Zombies experience with the Arkin or Archon. Multiplayer is getting two new maps beheaded and fortress for the mid-season update and we got four classic operators coming into the game of raul menendez from black ops 2 khaled al-assad from modern warfare universe seraph from bo3 and bo4 and rourke from call of duty ghosts we got a classic lineup of characters all from different time periods in this game which is crazy we got five new weapons including the ar of the ex1 the pistol the valoi revolver the smg of the ra225 the AR of the BP-50, I think that's an AR. And then the Liana 57, which might be another AR or an LMG of sorts. We got the Horsemen of the Acop Apocalypse bundles, and we even have a collab with Umbrella Academy, the show, giving them tracer pack bundles for Cha-Cha and Hazel. I've seen Umbrella Academy myself, and it actually involves time travel. So the fact that these operators are in Call of Duty Vanguard is insane. But yeah, in today's video, we'll be covering each of these topics in detail a little bit and uh we'll see what's up with it anyways let's rock and roll make sure you guys drop a like on the video subscribe turn on those post notices let me know what you guys think about season five so far here in warzone and without further ado let's get on to talking about this update okay so to be clear as to when this season is dropping season five is going to go live for vanguard on august 24th there will be an update to vanguard at 9 a.m pacific standard time on august 23rd and the warzone update is going to be up at 9 a.m pacific standard time on august 24th vanguard gets the update a day early but all the content won't be live till the day later with the warzone update on august 24th so here we have caldera's fate lies in your hands we have lava and fire going all over caldera which is going to be crazy peak is completely volcanic now it'll be hard to traverse around peak and you wouldn't want to land peak anymore most likely with all the lava going around there's a new caldera gulag they moved on from the uss texas and they have a volcanic themed gulag which looks pretty cool there's also new weather and lighting changes where the sunlight is going to be peeking through the volcanoes billowing smoke and rebirth island also get new lighting changes as well featuring a warm and lush sunset casting a vibrant hue over the map. So Reaper Island is going to look even better, and Caldera is going to be a little bit more smoky, which is interesting. We got new items and tactical opportunities. This skin looks really cool, by the way, with the Akimbo uh, pistols. We got the Doomsday Station. And basically, if you activate this in Caldera, the enemy helicopters actually go around to your station where you deployed that, and enemy soldiers will pop out. And basically, you kill the enemy soldiers, and you'll actually get some rewards for yourself, including some powerful items and a unique watch cosmetic for your operator. So that's pretty cool. Only one doomsday appears per match, and you have to pay the required $10,000 to activate it and prepare for a thunderous fight. So that's kind of cool for something uh, unique. There's also a new supply box UAV where it's going to mark nearby unopened supply stations for around 15 seconds on your TAC map. You can find a supply box UAV in supply boxes or purchase one at a buy station. Could be useful in tracking down opponents, especially if they're opening boxes, because then you'll see the little box on your map disappear. So that's pretty good intel in my opinion. Apparently there's also a personal supply box where if you use a supply box UAV and get a personal supply box somehow, you acquire your favorite loadout weapons in Warzone and every squad member gets a huge XP boost as well. And there's also the Rage Serum in this game, where it's a fuel upgrade that allows you to become violently unstable, resulting in a viciously effective boost to your close quarters fighting. You have superior melee damage, increased lunge distance, and enhanced stun power while fighting with melee weapons or fists. However, your footsteps are going to be louder, and it seems to recoil with more confusion while stunned or flashed. So if you get stunned or flashed, and you have your footsteps louder, which is the... Uh, the trade-off there. I don't really see that as useful or crazy, but could be fun. We also have a new mode called Operation Last Call. And in this mode, it's inspired by Search and Destroy. You can choose to defend Caldera by defusing bombs around the island or sabotage it by detonating explosives at designated bomb sites. Witness two different outcomes depending on your performance and your intent to cause chaos. Uh, they also added lava rock into Caldera because of the volcano and no one is safe from the volcanic fumes. 
stay out of the landing zone to survive in this public event within Operation Last Call. Check the volcano meter for a visual representation of current activity, also indicated by the increasingly smoky atmosphere throughout the match. So I don't think it'll be in regular Caldera matches, just uh, the limited time mode. We also have a new seasonal event, Hero vs. Villains. And your boy Hero's a hero, of course. It's a really cool skin though, by the way. It's uh, Hero vs. Villains in this new community event. You choose your side and lead them to victory. You collect hero or villain tokens by eliminating opponents and scavenging supply boxes. Then enjoy a discount for faction bundles at the buy station. Anytime you purchase a faction bundle, you'll get a discount on one other item across all buy stations. The winning team's unique weapon blueprint will be given to everyone following the event. Players also have the chance to earn other exclusive rewards like the legendary animated 1v1 calling card, the heroes or villains weapon charm, the conflict spike melee weapon, the time duality mo watch, and more. Man, I wish Call of Duty hit me up, man. Like, I'm a hero, man. Like, you know, there's no other hero in, in Warzone, or at least I, I don't think. But that would have been cool to collab with. And here they're hinting towards the mid-season update. Caldera continues to rock with another limited time mode, but don't expect a full volcanic eruption. Deploy to Rebirth Island in Resurgence Supreme mode, where squads of four drop in with their best weapons and with respawning enabled. Earn the best prizes for winning the match with over 15 eliminations. So sounds like a like a time to slay out on Rebirth. And they're going to tell us more about this uh, with the patch notes. So Warzone looks pretty crazy with this season. But let's move on to Vanguard. See what they got going on. Okay, so moving on, we got a couple of new maps for Vanguard. We got Beheaded, which is coming at launch. And we got this really cool city picture where everything's just going crazy in this city. Navigate a war-torn Times Square in this post-apocalyptic small map built for fast action. Battle under the neon lights, outside farmed Big Apple establishments, or take up position in Lady Liberty's fallen head, race through her arms, and dash through the subway to flank your enemies. So sounds like a cool map, at least visually. It's gonna be taking place in New York, which I think is really dope. We also have Fortress, which is the other new map, which is gonna be coming during the mid-season update. Uh, you deploy to the Mediterranean in this medium-sized map featuring close border interiors with rooftop access that grants you power positions. Fight in a maritime graveyard where ship remains litter the desert landscape. The eponymous fortress incorporates an old ship into its own design, creating a varied landscape to be exploited by savvy operators. Sounds interesting. I'm more intrigued about the first map. Uh, we got a new round-based zombies experience, the Archon, or the Arkin, and this basically takes place in Egypt. And there's a pack a punch, altar of covenants, home of rituals, and there's gonna be a boss battle apparently. I don't really know much about zombies. This is probably what's hinting towards the boss fight, which should be pretty cool. And yeah, I don't know, zombies looking pretty cool. Okay, here we're talking about rain play. We got a nice looking automaton blueprint you could probably uh, earn, or at least a camo looks like maybe. Uh, the co latest competitive rewards will include new exclusive camos, charms, emblems, and weapon blueprints to bring into your loadouts in rain play multiplayer and zombies. Fight for your spot on the ladder as you restart your climb to the top. And Treyarch will launch the new season's top 250 on August 31st to show who's the best of the best. So rank play getting new stuff, which is dope. And now we're in the juicy stuff. We got five new weapons and four new operators to talk about. So first off, we got the EX-1 Assault Rifle, which is actually a energy rifle from the future. This is actually the EM-1 from AW if you ever played Advanced Warfare. And it's actually a really cool gun. Uh, this prototype energy rifle leaves behind traditional ballistics in favor of a customizable battery system used to power its attacks. Effective at long range, the weapon requires a cooling off period after depleting its charge capacity, and you don't have to worry about running out of ammo, but you get caught during the reload and you're in trouble. Equip the heat muzzle for extra charge capacity, insert a new battery, and transform the EX-1's capabilities with the burst barrel or the charge sniper barrel. Its gunsmith potential is impressive, with options for every scenario. So this makes you just imagine what the futuristic games of Call of Duty could have been like. You know, imagine if the gunsmith system was put into Advanced Warfare, BO3, or Infinite Warfare. We would have some crazy freaking weaponry in those games. So personally, I like the Jetpack games, or at least two of them. I liked Infinite Warfare and BO3, I hated AW, but it's cool to see an AW gun in Vanguard, in my opinion. Let me know if you guys would have liked to see the gunsmith system in those Jetpack games. I think it's an interesting question to debate. Next up, we got the SMG of the RA-225, which is also coming at launch. The e EX-1 is gonna be in the Battle Pass, and the 225 uh, SMG here will also be in the Battle Pass as well, at tier 15 and tier 31. Not sure which one is going where, but I'm assuming it's the Assault Rifle first, and then the SMG, so that's what I would think. Uh, this SMG has a high fire rate and a very mobile compact frame. The Lightweight SMG boasts a fast fire rate and quick handling, perfect for shredding enemies in close to mid-range battles. 
if you can manage its upward kick. It's great for objective play in tight areas, though you may need to pair it with a heavier damager, damage dealing weapon when more firepower is needed. It's highly customizable via Gunsmith 2 with options for greater power, handling, and accuracy. Find the right balance and soon you'll never want to be without this blazing SMG. However, keep your eyes out for extra ammo, you'll need it. To me, it sounds like a Scorpion slash Spitfire from the Black Ops series, uh, where it's just gonna be shredding fools, you know, the Vesper from BO3. Uh, it's, it's gonna be nice, but you're gonna run out of ammo really, really fast. Basically kinda like the CX-9 from Modern Warfare 2019 as well. So we'll see what's up with it. Next up, we got the Valoi Revolver, which is going to be in launch window. So it might come out of launch or it might be like a week after or something, probably like a throw a weapon challenge. A combination knife and revolver that acts as both a lethal melee weapon and a pistol. So it's two in one, really cool. This rare weapon is a villain's dream, capable of landing one hit melee eliminations while also holding six rounds in the chamber for extra versatility. Its damage isn't remarkable, but it'll do the job against a fleeing or damaged opponent. You can get the revolver by purchasing it in a bundle or completing one or two in-game challenges. In multiplayer, you gotta get 15 melee kills, which is pretty dope. And in zombies, you gotta get elim a thousand eliminations using pistols that have been pack-a-punched. And then here they hint towards the two other guns, the BP-50 and the Liena 57 assault rifle. So we're getting two assault rifles for the mid-season update, which is insane. So that's insane. Three assault rifles this season, an SMG, and a pistol slash melee weapon which should be really cool. Next up, we got the four villain operators that'll be available in this season. We got Raul Menendez at launch, you know, assumedly going to be the battle pass operator at, yeah, at a rank one. But um, yeah, he's from freaking Bla Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and he's looking really fine. We also have Khalil Al-Assad here, who is also coming at launch. He might be in the battle pass. It doesn't really say here anywhere if he's in the battle pass or not. He's from the Modern Warfare series though, of course. It'll be pretty cool as well. There's a chance he could be like the tier 100 battle pass skin, or he'll just be in a bundle. Either way, it's pretty cool, but though I prefer the tier 100 battle pass, because that'd be free basically for me. He, or Rourke. Rourke is going to be here from Call of Duty Ghost, and he'll be in season most likely in a bundle. He won't be in the battle pass at all. Uh, if you love Call of Duty Ghost, then, you know, fans are going to be crazy about it. Ghost is my second favorite Call of Duty, so it's glad to see him here. And then we have Sarah from Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and this is her Black Ops 3 skin which uh, she looks just amazing as always. Always love that pose of her with the gun like that, looking like uh, the Annihilator. Yeah, she's going to be in season and in a bundle as well. And then last but not least, they're showing us an image here of the new Umbrella Academy collab tracer packs for both Cha-Cha and Hazel. Uh, compared to how they look like in the real show, uh, it's a little exaggerated. They definitely look better in the real show, but it'll still be fun to see uh, how the collab looks like in game. Let me know if you guys have ever seen Umbrella Academy. I think it's a really dope show. All you need to know for these two is just watch the first season. Uh, the first season, you know, will show you and introduce you to the time travel. And it's actually really dope that they're in Call of Duty. And it makes sense with the theme of all the old villains from previous Call of Duties coming into this game because assumably they're time traveling to get revenge on the good guys and make sure the bad guys rule over. So them being here, the Umbrella Academy with the time travel and the briefcase makes a lot of sense. Or maybe it doesn't. None of this makes sense anymore, but that's it for this video. Make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, turn on those post notices. If you guys uh, were entertained or informed through this, I upload a bunch of Call of Duty videos here on the channel, uh, mostly multiplayer. And you already know, when Model for 2 drops, I'm gonna be going crazy with the nukes, the best class setups, and just having a lot of fun. And you know, my Warzone channel is gonna be focused on Warzone 2. Really can't wait to see this channel hit hopefully 10K during Model for 2, and hopefully to see a lot of you here. Thank you for being beautiful and amazing, and I'll see you guys in the future. Bye. I love you all.